Okay, Raziel has been running around inside of this vampire crypt, basically. Throughout these ruins, I found murals depicting the seminal events of vampire history. These scenes commemorated a great war between the ancient vampires and their rivals. In triumph, they banished their adversaries from the world and raised the pillars as the lock that binds them. The image of the Reva was inscribed throughout this place, always depicted with reverence. The vampire's holy weapon was destined to be borne by their prophesied hero, for whom it was forged. But if this was my destiny, why had the Reva tried to consume me? The game, uh, oh, shit. <laughs> the game Blood Omen 2 unfortunately had a the series as a whole, because it complicated the crap out of the story by confusing a lot of the factors and just going to the spectral realm now not necessary here. It confused a lot of the aspects of the story. This scene depicted the appointment of the original vampire guardians, each summoned to serve when the pillars were raised. Each guardian is aligned to the principle of the pillar he serves, and the balance guardian is the axis of them all. It was established in Blood Omen that Cain was the last of his kind. And then it was further established in Soul Reaver that Cain was the only of his kind up until the point that he resurrected the Seraphim, like Razzabelle and, and all those. But in Blood Omen 2, it kind of. It should have expected where there were a lot of other vampires running around, and those who shouldn't exist. So a lot of the games in between oftentimes were just sort of explaining away this whole discrepancy. Although they never really get terribly specific about how were all these other vampires came from or how bored or survived this, uh, survived this execution. It does, uh, it did set in um, motion basically the events that all the other games will be reviewed and find At last it was done. The Reaver was forged with darkness. As I felt this new power coursing within the Wraith Blade, I knew that now the Light Temple would open to me. The Light Temple would open with the power of darkness. That makes a lot of sense. We're also going to need to go and get the Light Reaver. So let's figure that out. Oh, wow. Uh, take your Dark Reaver and screw up these, these orbs here. And that'll do it. Now we gotta go and find this Stargate looking thing. Um, the way out. While you jump on the climb. It's not terribly easy to see it sort of being blended into the wall as well. So maybe it might be a They're all 
big day. All of you. Now those gargoyles up there will stop us if we are not invisible. If so, you know, you'll get the get your power for your meat. Just hit this ball of meat. Then hold the action button. Now we're invisible and can run through without the gargoyles stopping us. And then open the door. Ah. You We just need to find our way out of, out of here. <laughs> uh, we do need, we can't escape the cemetery just yet, but we're getting there. to go. Now that I have the Dark Reaver, I can open up that door. Shit. Huh. Fell. Finding your way around in here is something. Anytime you shift from the material realm to the spectral realm, and back, you'll find that you your reaver of choice, whatever you had selected, will be set back to its default, which is the reaver of Alright, that's where I need to be. But, uh, I'm gonna kill him. Not as seamless as I remember it. Went to a loading screen, but still, I mean, Razael rematerialized in the spectral realm and I can just jump back in and fight the fight again.
Okay, I don't, I don't have to go through any windows here. I can just open the door. And I'm back to where I was before. right through these things. Alrighty. Uh, there's a lock up here. I'll take care of that later. Ah, crap. Okay, I'm gonna need to get in the material around. all the way. We can actually make this jump now. We can't make that one, though. Shifting back in the spectral room brings the pillars closer as well, and we can hop it. Against all odds, I had stumbled into Cain's own mausoleum. This seemed an unlikely coincidence. So we found it. This is where Cain was uh, buried, or left, after he died. Now, in like several years, a different company and a different hardware generation removed from the original game. This room doesn't look much like the game that I did in Blood Omen. Also, this picture wasn't here. And I don't know if you noticed or not, but when in the spectral realm, that, that gigantic painting of Cain was him as a vampire. Now that we've gone back to the material realm, that painting is him as a human. Now, I'm not sure how much time has passed between um, Cain's resurrection here But we're not going to find Cain here, so don't get excited. did not seem to activate this orb. I had to find the means to enhance the blade further. Yeah, that's not gonna work then. We'll be back for that one. And I would guess this is where he escaped from. <laughs> Tore open the bars or something. Puzzle. 
There we go. Okay. Finally reached the top here, so block puzzle basically. What? <laughs> that animation is terrible. Did not mean to do that physical. Okay, just need to hop up there. Uh, maybe that's close enough. isn't going to isn't going to uh, open by itself. We gotta go and grab the crystal for it. And then we need to go and turn on the lights basically. Alright. Now let's see if I can do this from down here. Again, I experienced an odd sense of displeasure as I was transported to the vampire ruin once more. But this chamber was different than the first. Was it different than the first? In their defeat, the vampire's enemy retaliated with a terrible curse, afflicting the vampires with a bloodthirst that turned their once noble race into ravenous predators. This curse plunged the vampires into despair and apparently drove many to madness and self-annihilation. What was it that so devastated them that they were driven to suicide? I don't know, maybe the blood curse would be enough being forced to turn into a bloodthirsty, literally, killing machine. But, uh, whatever. It's a broken statue. It's a long dungeon. But that was, um, pretty much established back in Blood Omen 2 that the... that the vampires were not always these killing monsters. actually just sort of like a, uh, literally a curse that was put on them. Whoa! I had succeeded. The Reaver was forged with the power of light, and now my way was clear. I would seek out Ariel at the Pillars, and see if she could enlighten me. Uh, this thing does not look friendly. Kill it. Oh, this thing is friendly. Uh, I guess I hit it and back off. Or maybe I can stagger it with the pillars. is obviously in the uh, shape of one of the original vampires, the two vampires, the winged one. Ha <laughs> 
Almost at it. Okay, there was a new way opened up, so I'm gonna try and find out what was hidden in there. Hello. There's a, there's a statue. Yeah, that was a statue. There we go. Ah, there's my, uh, there's my exit. That was it, though? Wasn't anything else? No, I guess not. I wonder, though. The, uh... The Reaver, back before it became the Soul Reaver, they called it. It was just the Reaver, and some people called it the Blood Reaver because it drank blood. But it was clearly forged before. It was used during the war against the, the Hilden. So if the vampires didn't have that curse at the time, why did the sword use blood? Alright, there we go. There's one more to do. I remember where this damn thing is. just for nothing. Ah, here it is. Nice. I have the need to depart the cemetery. I only needed to find the gate that would send me on my way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. You'd find the gate to send me on my way. Ah, you bitches. All right, let's do this. Find our way out of this dump. I wonder how did the uh, the vampire hunters manage to find their way in here? Fraziel's having such a difficult time getting out. How did they get in?
I guess any soul that is actually consumed by Raziel, well, I mean, the souls are normally considered to be sort of like eternal in this universe. But if they are consumed by Raziel, I guess that's sort of a, a death for them, isn't it? Sealed by the powers of light and darkness, barred the way to the pillars beyond. To depart this place and continue my journey, I would have to find the means to open it. As a matter of fact, we have means. Just take the Dark Reaver, move the light ball. Take the light reaver to the At dark last, ball. the gate yielded to the powers of light and darkness with which the reaver had been forged. The way to the pillars was open. Oh yeah. 